Welcome back. It is 623 and it is Monday. I am so glad we are back in studio because we have Cat Haven. Thomas Alquist joins us right now. And who do we have? This handsome fella. Yes, this handsome boy is Hero. Uh -huh. He is two years old, so he is an adult cat. Um, typically, we range it kittens anywhere from zero to six months, juveniles six to a year, and anything after that, they're pretty much grown up. So he is, he's a big boy and he is an absolute sweetheart. Is he still growing, would you say, maybe a little bit? Yeah, you know, um, their, uh, their weight and, and height can change over time. Mm -hmm. At around two, they're pretty, they're pretty set on where they're gonna be, though. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people come in and they ask to see the, the fluffiest cats they can uh -huh. find. And uh, so this is what we would call a domestic medium hair. Okay. And so he's just got a little bit longer hair. It makes him real floofy and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> real cute. And so he's a great uh, pick for someone looking for a really unique and beautiful coat. What would you say a good home for him would be? Um, you know, uh, people who like excitement and like the like a little bit of a challenge, kittens are a great choice. Mm -hmm. People who want to know kind of a more set personality, um, know what they're getting into, either a really energetic cat or a really calm cat, uh, uh, an adult is a great option. And so Hero here, as you can see, is really calm and really sweet. Yes, and he he'd is. be good Cut in a home buddy. for with anyone who's looking for a little cuddle buddy. Yes, and he's, and he's so loving, he's so floofy. With a cat that has longer hair, would you say they're higher maintenance or no? Um, you know, with uh, it's just the different types, it's different types of maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people kind of sh maybe shy away from the idea of having a longer mm -hmm. hair cat. But as long as you brush them just about once a week, um, it's pretty manageable. And then with cats, I mean, they, they bathe themselves, too. So, I mean, I've had a long-haired cat, and yeah. it, I mean, no different. Mm -hmm. Just a little more hair, but yep. it's okay. We wear our fur baby's hair all the time. <laughs> and you were telling us before the interview started that you've had more kitten adoptions. Yes. So um, more older cats are needing is, homes. Which is perfect for us right now because we're just gearing up for kitten season in yes. the spring. Um, and so it's awesome. It's kind of slowing down right now. Um, you know, a lot of our kittens are being adopted out, which is wonderful. So we have a little bit more of these older cats available. And then it's going to absolutely explode here in the next few months where we'll have mm -hmm. kittens coming out of every corner of Cat Haven. So. Uh, yeah, of course. Now, what would you say, I mean, there are a lot of people that want to help, but maybe they can't adopt right now. Can they foster? Yes. So we have a, a, a wide foster network mm -hmm. with over 100 cats in it right now. Um, and that's a wonderful way to help. Mm -hmm. um, we also are going to be hosting some really great events coming up in the next mm -hmm. few months. We have an online photo contest that's Mardi Gras themed, um, so you can submit your favorite photo of your cat and, and get people to vote on it and lots of other you know, great events coming up. So best way to help is just to check out our, our website and Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's links to donate, ways to give, and ways to participate in ways that you can have fun and help the cats. Um, Real quick, uh, I, I know we've talked about it before, but just for some more information, a lot of people don't know how to how to symbolically adopt. That's something you guys do, right? Yeah, and so, you know, um, we hear the phrase often, like, I wish I could adopt, but I already have four cats at home. <laughs> <laughs> and five is a lot. Yes. <laughs> and so we have this, uh, you know, great program where you can symbolically adopt. Uh, you, you give a donation, you get a, a certificate of symbolic adoption, uh -huh. a little plush cat, Cat, um, some info about the cats you're helping and it's just a great way to you know support without actually taking an animal home they make great gifts as well no oh, they absolutely do now for someone who's not familiar with the cat adoption process what's the first step they can take to get started um, on our website mm -hmm. uh, cathaven.org we try to make it as simple as possible mm -hmm. <laughs> right there there's some you know cute little kittens and then right below it it's how do I adopt mm -hmm. how do I admit a cat um, what cats do you have for adoption? And then okay. there's just buttons for those three things. And so hopefully that can answer your questions. And if not, feel free to give us a call or, or Facebook message us and we'll be mm -hmm. happy to help you out. And y'all are very active on social media, so yeah. that's always a good thing, mm -hmm. right? We try to be. Yes, exactly. So, all right, we'll have all this information on Hero and of course, uh, Cat Haven, anything else that you're wondering about on our website, that's brproud.com. We'll be right back.